Cristiano Ronaldo or CR7 for short, is universally recognized as one of the best football players in history. His prestigious list of honors includes some of football's finest and greatest achievements and his innate goal-scoring instinct has earned him a place among the world's top scorers. But while the five-time Golden Ball winner's talent is undeniable and cannot suffer criticism, his sometimes condescending behavior and rather bling-bling lifestyle have placed him in the center of the sights of his many enemies, who never miss a chance to shoot their poisoned arrows at him. Cristiano Ronaldo is therefore a great player, even though his many detractors sometimes accuse him of megalomania, which does not, however, succeed in overshadowing the full extent of his art and his marvelous exploits. Nevertheless, those who really know the former Real Madrid star know the full extent of his kindness and greatness of spirit, beyond the many clichés conveyed by the gossip press. The fact remains that these same people, who have become intimate with the hottest Portuguese on the planet, also know his extraordinary predisposition to get angry quickly. And indeed, it turns out that the slightest thing can irritate our dear Cristiano and push him over the edge very easily. So, whether on the pitch or outside the stadium, CR7 has often lost his temper and his reactions are almost always a laughing stock. So, make yourself comfortable, because today we're going to find out what happens when you piss Cristiano off, and you'll see, you'll be bloody surprised. Let's get started. While it is unanimously agreed that Cristiano Ronaldo is an accomplished player on the field, collecting the most splendid goals and assists and often positioning himself as the mainstay of his team, the fact remains that his undisguised bragging rights make him a player much hated by the fans of opposing teams. But it turns out that the so-called arrogance for which he is so often accused is merely a label that has been willingly attached to him out of sheer jealousy, because in the end Cristiano Ronaldo is not that condescending. His detractors accuse him of showing off his abs while celebrating goals and riding big engine cars, but how many sportsmen and women with money in their pockets do so without being worried? It's true that, like every human being, CR7 may have his faults, but they're not as obvious as they seem, except perhaps for critics who accuse him of being a nervous wreck. This characteristic of his personality is, moreover, common to practically all Latin people, who are rightly said to be warm-blooded. Cristiano Ronaldo has a knack for making himself angry, especially in big games like the league finals or the dreaded Spanish Classic. In 2010, in a match between Real Madrid and eternal rival, Barcelona, Cristiano Ronaldo's nerves were put to the test. The 13th round of the Spanish championship would prove to be as stormy as every year, exacerbating tensions and often forcing the referee to show the red card to curb the excesses. The emblematic number 7 had no desire to see his team score two goals in the first 20 minutes of the match, and his hopes of shining brightly by scoring the first goal of the game and ridiculing Messi in the process had sadly evaporated. It did not take too much to push the young Portuguese player to the limit, and Cristiano let his fury explode. And so, in the 31st minute of play, with spirits slightly warmed on both sides, the Portuguese striker came to claim a ball from Pep Guardiola, who was standing on the edge of the pitch. However, the Barcelona coach disagreed and preferred to throw the ball to one of his players, as the ball was in the Barcelona's camp. A gesture that literally enraged Cristiano, and to get revenge, he suddenly pushed Pep Guardiola, almost knocking him down. It was a gesture that set the ball rolling and that was to degenerate into a general brawl, if not for the professionalism of the players at both clubs, although some of them, notably Victor Valdez, showed a certain virulence in their reaction, which was to earn the Catalan goalkeeper the yellow card. As for Cristiano Ronaldo, despite his inappropriate gesture, he finally got off with a simple warning, although the yellow card may well have turned red. Nevertheless, the referee was a little lenient with the situation, since as a perfect pro he took into account the highly explosive context that follows every classic and the nerves of both players and fans, who are almost always on edge. However, the outcome of the match was to prove even more detestable for the meringue players, as in the end they lost the match with a humiliating score line of 5 goals to 0. The Spanish Classic is Cristiano Ronaldo's opportunity, as for the rest of the players, to give free rein to their anger and impulses, which naturally have no place in a top-level league like the Spanish League. 
So, in 2017, in the first leg of the Spanish Super Cup between FC Barcelona and Real Madrid, CR7 will once again make his mark, and his behavior on the field will be another cause for controversy. Although the Portuguese striker scored a superb goal, he celebrated excessively by removing his jersey, earning himself his first yellow card. Three minutes later he left his teammates after receiving a second caution for simulation in the penalty area. The 23rd player of the match was almost antagonistic towards the Portuguese star, and at the risk of questioning his impartiality, the two yellow cards he showed him at only a few minutes apart and for rather benign reasons were grossly excessive. It is also true that many referees would not have been so severe in the sentences they would have handed out, contenting themselves in this case with a simple verbal warning. It was therefore very natural for CR7 to be freaked out by so much iniquity and knowing the Latin blood running in the veins of our beloved footballer, the referee did rather well in the end, other more violent and less self-respecting players would have literally lynched him for less, you only have to look at the football matches in South America and Asia to realize this. Fortunately, FIFA will have the elegance not to apply the maximum penalty to CR7 which has 12 matches of suspension, having taken into consideration the exaggerated severity of the referee, and the player will get only 4 matches of suspension. Cristiano then apologized, but his eviction from the field by the overzealous referee on the penalty issue deprived him of witnessing his team's well-deserved victory by 3 goals to 1. Before continuing it is time to answer the question of the day and today it is about general culture. How many goals do you think Cristiano Ronaldo has scored in his entire football career? Is it? Option A. More than 510. Option B. Over 1000. Or. Option C. More than 720. Think carefully and write what you think is the right answer in the comments. Answer just before the end of the video but if Juve's member has the explosive character of the Latin and their impulsiveness on the pitch, he is just as explosive, if not more so, outside the field. And while it is usually the players of the opposing team or the visibly malicious referees who are the target of his legendary tantrums and sulks, sports journalists too have had to endure his legendary spikes and fits of black anger. The Portuguese striker has a habit of getting in the way of reporters in interviews and press conferences, but it is true that the latter, with little regard for the codes of ethics governing their profession, have the unfortunate tendency to provoke him and push him to the limit. At a press conference held on the eve of the Champions League round of 16 between Real Madrid and Roma, one journalist had the effrontery to ask him one more question. The reporter had been blunt about the Portuguese star's diminished away performance, arguing that Madrid's attack would have been much better if he had socialized more with his teammates, reflecting Messi's relationship with some of those teammates and the benefits that that brings to Barcelona. This comparison, heretical in the eyes of Ronaldo, in that not only did it put him in the same sentence as his worst enemy, Messi, but also openly denigrated his performance at Real, was the straw that broke the camel's back, and the visibly outraged player was to reply scathingly that he was the best player in Spain, period. Displaying an air of the most displeased and seemingly outraged to the utmost, CR7 then went to get his things and walked out of the room under the half-figure, half-grape look of Zinedine Zidane, who, as you can imagine, laughed yellow so much he was uncomfortable. The charismatic Real Madrid coach has had to get used to the explosive nature of the superstar striker, as he himself has suffered many bouts of mood swings and tantrums. In a match between Real Madrid and Las Palmas on Saturday 24 September 2016, Zinedine Zidane decided to bring the Portuguese out in the 72nd minute for a replacement. For the French coach, it was nothing more than a strategic choice, but for CR7 it was a real affront to make him leave the pitch before the end of the match. So, it was while muttering several insults against the real coach that Cristiano Ronaldo left the pitch, the mind rotting away. Unlucky for the Portuguese, the camera was close up on him, and his lip expressions were unmistakable, demonstrating that the player was insulting his coach. But once again, if one were to step back enough, one could immediately see that Cristiano Ronaldo suffers neither from megalomania nor narcissism, as his critics all too often accuse him of. 
In truth, his attitude is that of a world-famous star, who must therefore maintain an image for his fans, just like Messi, Neymar, or other players of his caliber. CR7 is a man who gets angry quite easily. A bit like all native Portuguese, but he also often keeps his head on his shoulders, even in the tensest moments, showing great composure, although at times his reactions can be extremely comical, even hilarious. And that's good in the end, because that's the way he likes it. So, what do you think of Cristiano Ronaldo's tragicomic reactions when he gets angry? Give us your feeling in the comments. Otherwise, the five-time Golden Ball winner has scored well over 720 goals, a number that really commands respect. I hope many of you have found the answer.